in a very short period of time, NoFap, has become more than just a word. People are getting to know, the detrimental effects of watching porn, and semen wastage. Watching porn stimulates the same part of the brain, as addictive substances does. It changes the very structure of your brain, similar to what heroin does. But the best part is, there is also something called the recovery. The whole brain and body as a system, reboots when one goes on nofap, or brahmacharya. Most people will start seeing benefits from day 7, and will gain most of the benefits after day 90. Welcome to part 2, of Brahmacharya Decoded series, in the last video, we had talked about, what is nofap, the tremendous benefits reap through it, the anatomy, and much more. Here, I present, its practical aspects, how to achieve this, preparations required, what about women? What after marriage? If you hadn't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch it. Link in description. Here we go. One of the very important concepts in Ayurveda, involves Shukra. The same Shukra, has two forms. One is of reproductive fluid, sperm, in particular, and other is of hypothalamic, pituitary, gonadal axis of hormones, that circulate all over the body. This, is for both men and women. Its presence in reproductive organ provides new life. And in rest of the body acts as the basis for attraction, beauty, enthusiasm, joy and creativity. When preserved and reabsorbed, this shukra, transforms into something called, ojas, and gets circulated all over the body. This is the most potent energy present in each cell of the body. Camel, in the desert, eat cactus. While chewing, the thorn pricks, and its mouth will be filled with blood. It tastes its own blood, and thinks the cactus is sweet. This is the same thing happening with most people. They are losing their own vitality, and think, they are enjoying. The major question that arise, is how do I preserve this energy then? This is a very valid question, because the accessibility today's generation has, and then following nofap, is the hard part. To answer this, one has to know the mechanism first. No one, is ever bothered about it during exams, or if something very important, which needs to be accomplished, because, their focus is on something else, and all the energy, is getting channelized towards what is being focused. Brahmacharya, is not just abstaining from sexual act, that's a very crude idea. In the pursuit, they try to suppress the natural urges. This is where, most people go wrong. Urge, is just an energy, and suppressing the energy, leads to detrimental effects. Then what to do? Channelize. Yes, channelizing the energy to something more creative is the key. Energy moves towards what you focus. To make you understand this, if I say, don't think about an elephant, wearing Bermuda. What did you think? Only elephant, wearing Bermuda. The mind works in the same way, if you put all your effort, to not think about it, your mind will be only filled with it, accordingly, the energy moves, the more effort you put, the more rebel, it becomes. So the key here is, not, not thinking, but instead, thinking something more rewarding. This is called sex sublimation, or channelizing. Remember suppression doesn't work, ever. In fact, it makes things worse. As per the astronauts' experience, the moment they move beyond the Earth's gravity, they don't feel much sexuality. As the body loses weight, sexuality dissolves and disappears. The Earth is pulling your energy down, through gravity, and this is natural. You must have observed, that your sex energy moves with imagination, this can be utilized to your advantage. One can visualize the energy moving upward, and nourishing the brain cells when he feels the urge. Sublimation is the opposite of suppression, it is the process of dynamic conversion of energy. Meditators. Use this to convert material energy, 
into spiritual energy, compassion, etc. Also called ojas. Just as heat is changed into light, and electricity, one who has great deal of ojas in his brain, can turn out immense mental work. When it's suppressed, by bottling it up, the same energy gets an outlet, in anger, frustration, etc. Example. Same fire can be utilized to cook food, or burn an entire city. See this analogy. The tank is getting filled with water continuously. And the outlet is there towards a gutter, where all the fresh water, is being wasted. So the owner thinks, not to waste it, and blocks the outlet. What happens? The tank bursts after its threshold. But instead of blocking it, if he diverts the pure water, to something useful, like watering plants, they grow and bear, beautiful flowers. Note. If you force abstinence, you'll be irritable, angry, emotionally imbalanced, have unclear communication, all the psychological issues arise. Practitioners, use an effective technique. When they feel, they are attracted towards someone, they immediately imagine that person, being old with wrinkled face, and in rags. And, there will be, an instant energy shift. This becomes their second nature, with practice, and energy will be preserved for greater use. While this practice, is unparalleled. It's not possible for everyone to do it. For example, after marriage. Here Ayurved, provides precious info. It mentions six seasons in a year. Winter, spring, summer, monsoon, autumn and late autumn. It's said, only late autumn, and winter seasons are the best, for intercourse. As it naturally produces more shukra, in our body. Summer, and monsoon are most depleting for shukra. Ayurved prescribes the frequency of intercourse, as per the chart below. In summer and monsoon, once in 15 days. Spring and autumn, once in 3 days. In winter and late autumn, can be had daily. In nature, there's a time and season for sexuality, and time and season for rest. This is true for plants, practiced by animals, and should be practiced, by humans as well. This enables the person to maintain balance, without depletion. Although they can't reap the benefits of following Brahmacharya. Unfortunately sex is seen as a bad thing, it's not considered anything bad, or sin, in Eastern culture, it's the way the life works, but indulging in it just for pleasure, which lasts just moments, is an ultimate waste of such a vital power bank. Here it's important to think, why people feel drained after sexual activity. This is because, of the loss of energy. This answers the next question, what about women? Sexual energy has two purposes. Reproduction, and neuroplastic brain development. The uncontrolled indulgence, for intense sensuous excitement of the act, shatters the nervous system, and causes stability. Their system, being bit more delicate, and high strung, females are often more affected than men. Women should preserve this precious vital force. If someone is intrigued, or skeptic about nofap, thinking, whether it's real, worthy, does it work, etc etc. I would say, just try it for a week, at start. And when you see the benefits coming your way, can continue. Legends will do indefinitely. Like Swami Vivekananda.